Rafael, we're here on Vieques in Puerto Rico at the Physics of Information Conference and uh, information we know is extremely important in science and in understanding the world and in physics. But some physicists claim that information is even more than that. That information is not just a way of understanding, a modeling, a probe, a, a mechanism for understanding the physical reality, but it in fact is the physical reality. It's the deepest ground of being that we can find, that everything is derivative from information, information being sort of a digital approach to the world on off zero one. Uh, uh, does that make sense? Whether it's whether information is the most fundamental ingredient of, of physics, of, of natural science, I have no idea. What's pretty clear is that it plays a deep role and that by thinking about quantum information um, and its connections with gravity and geometry, uh, we're likely to make some progress on this problem of quantum gravity that, that's been outstanding for about 100 years now. All right, so how can information help us with the problem of quantum gravity, of unifying the seemingly uh, uh, disparate theories of quantum mechanics and general relativity? How does information help? Well, to explain how information might help with quantum gravity, it's good to think of an analog, another problem of unification that Einstein faced, uh, putting together Newton's theory of gravity, uh, with, with Einstein's own theory of special relativity, which had, had put a finite uh, speed limit on everything, uh, which, which Newton's theory didn't obey. Uh, and he eventually figured it out uh, by understanding that gravity is not really a force, gravity is geometry. It's, it's bodies moving as straight as they can in what's actually a bent space-time, uh, bent like the surface of a sphere or of a saddle. And today, we're trying to go one step further, unify gravity, Einstein's theory, with quantum mechanics. And quantum mechanics information, quantum information is really the currency in which the theory is formulated. Um, and, and there appear to be phenomenally interesting connections between the shape of space-time and the amount of information that can be contained in a region of space-time. Uh, I myself contributed to understanding what those relations are, uh, and they're extremely surprising and very beautiful, and it seems that they should have um, a deeper origin. That if we discover this origin, if we, if we understand what underlies this strange relation, we might understand how to put together general relativity and quantum mechanics. What was your own contribution? Uh, what I discovered following the work of, of others, of course, is a completely universal relation uh, between how much information you can have in a region of space and the surface area surrounding that region of space. Now it's not really a region of space and that was the key thing in understanding how to make it really universal. But the idea is that if you cram too much information into a region of space, gravity will make it collapse to a black hole uh -huh. and eventually if you cram more the black hole will get bigger than the surface area you specified and you just can't do that. And so that provides an absolute limit on how much information you can have completely independently of what you think the smallest constituents are. It's a very universal thing that's governed only by gravity. And so that establishes a connection between these two things, quantum information and gravity, that if we could unravel its origin, I think would tell us a lot about how to unify those two things. So when, you, when you're doing this, when you're determining how much information within a volume, and therefore if you don't, can't have too much, it has to be the, the, the information on the surface as opposed to the interior, how are you differentiating between the particles or the, the mass energy and the information? How do the two articulate? Well, the mass and energy are just forms in this viewpoint that the information takes. How do you store it? Uh -huh. You can store information in a very inefficient way or in an efficient way. You can use a lot of mass, um, very heavy particles, for example, or, or uh, uh, particles that are moving extremely fast in some region of space. Uh, and then, you know, you, you will run into this problem of making a black hole mm -hmm. long before you've come anywhere close uh -huh. to, to violating this bound on information that I formulated. Uh, but you can also try to be smart. In this case, you're going to use very light particles, but they mustn't be too light or their quantum wavelength becomes uh -huh. bigger than the region that, uh -huh. that, uh, that you're allowed to use. And so there's a competition between the gravity of the very massive particles that you're, that you're trying to uh, to use in order for them to take up very little space, um, or the quantum mechanical 
you know, size are very light particles where you're trying to not form a black hole and you have to compromise somewhere in between and that's how you maximize uh, the amount of information you can put into, into a regional But space. in this analysis, information is, is very fundamental. It's not just a, uh, a, a way, of, it's not a measurement thing. It's something that, that is, is, is really the, the primary constituent of what you're working with. So it, it does sound like it's more fundamental than the, than the common understanding of information. Well, um, it's clear that in this relationship between information and geometry, it's information uh, that has the simple relationship. If I try to re-express that in terms of the masses and charges and so on of particles, it becomes very convoluted and, and it would be impossible mm -hmm. to see the relation. Mm -hmm. So at the very least, it tells us that this particular relation gives a preferred status to information. Uh, it's of course possible that both the quantum information and the other properties of physical nature have some common origin. Mm -hmm. and so that's why I'm reluctant to simply declare mm -hmm. that information is automatically the most fundamental thing in the world. But yes, you're right, that will be the first guess you'd make looking at this relation.